Well, thank you for joining me again today on Monday Mine on this, the 29th day of July in the year 2019. I strongly suggest that if you want to do anything in the month of July, you need to go ahead and do it the next day or two because August is almost here. Today, the future and you. You and your future. Where do you see yourself a day, week, month, year, 5, 10, 15 years from now? Where do you see yourself? Do you see yourself staying right where you are, trying to live in the past? You've made a lot of mistakes in your life. So have I. Are you going to live there behind that big mountain of mistakes that you think you've made and, and, and let that blind you from what God has for you in the future? You can't see your future. God is holding things back from you right now because you can't see the future because of that big mountain of mistakes that you've made. Let's read in Deuteronomy 29 and look at verse 29. Deuteronomy 29, 29. The secret things belong to the Lord our God, but the things revealed belong to us and to our children forever that we may follow all the words of this law. God has things that he could reveal to us, but if he did, we wouldn't even understand. We're blind. All we can see is, okay, let me explain it like this. In this present situation in your life where you are right now, you see yourself and you see your life as just one big mistake. That's all you can see. I've done this. I've done that. I'll never amount to anything now. Look what I've done. I've hurt people. Look, folks, I've hurt my family. I've hurt my wife. I've hurt my children. I've done things that I'm ashamed of. Sometimes I go somewhere and I run into somebody and they'll turn and go the other way because they know the things that I've done. Now, I can dwell on that and it can drag me down. And then I can never get out of the future what God has for me in the future. If I live where I, in, in that, behind that big mountain of mistakes that I've made, God's not going to reveal a lot of things to me because I wouldn't understand it. He wants to do this for me. He wants to do this for you. He wants to do all these wonderful things for me and you. But if we're living in our past and living behind that big mountain of mistakes, we can't see it. We wouldn't even understand what he was talking about because we are blinded right now to what he's trying to do for us in the future. We've got to put away the past. Yes, some people will shun you. Yes, some people will always be there to remind you of what you've done. Just when you are just about to get over it, somebody will always bring it up and they'll remind you of what you've done wrong. But we've got to get past that so God can begin to reveal those wonderful things to us about our future. We've all made mistakes, folks. Right now, not, not a minute later, not an hour later, right now as you watch this video and hear my voice, right now is the time to give yourself back to the true owner. Give ownership of your life back over to God. Say, God, I need you to help me move that mountain. God, I need you to help me to pray for those people that want to persecute me and put me down and condemn me and ridicule me for the things that I've done. God, I want you to move this mountain of mistakes, this mountain of doubt, dear God, that's in my way, so I can begin to see the future. And you begin to reveal things to me, God, and give me a bright future. I told you I could predict your future. I'm not a fortune teller. Don't in any way think that I'm trying to get into those, those kind of horoscope or fortune telling type of things. I am not. I'll just tell you this. If you give ownership back over to God, and mean it with all your heart. He will move that mountain of doubt and that mountain of mistakes that you've made and begin to reveal things to you and give you a bright future. That is what I meant to say, okay? Another verse of Scripture, Romans 8, 28. All things work together for good to them that love the Lord. To them that love the Lord. If you love Him today, like you say you do, surrender your ownership back over to God. Quit trying to work it out your way. If you love him today, let him have control of your life. Ask him, God, please help me to learn to live without looking at the past. Help me to look forward, dear God, not backwards. All things will work together for your good. I promise you, God can work. Whatever situation you think you're in right now, God can use it in his master plan. That's Romans 8.28. 
And in Luke, I think it's chapter 1, verse 37, somewhere in there, uh, nothing is impossible with God. You've got to remember that. You may think it's impossible right now. It's not. One more time today. Deuteronomy 29, 29. The secret things belong to the Lord our God. Yep, he's holding them back from you right now because you refuse to see them. You can't see them. But the things revealed belong to us. That's those things that he will begin to reveal and show us when we begin to look forwards instead of backwards. Ask God to remove that mountain in our life of all the mistakes that we've made. Things revealed belong to us and to our children forever that we may follow all the words of this law. God wants to give you a bright future. It's not up to Glenn. I was just merely telling you that if you give true ownership back to your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, He will move that mountain and He will give you a bright future. It's up to you and God. He's not going to intrude. He's not going to make you see things. He's not going to make you have a right future. You have to put away the past and let God know that you need Him. Let God know that you depend on Him because you love Him. Like it said in Romans 8, 28, all things work together for good to them that love the Lord. I'm looking forward to maybe hearing from some of you guys and and you let me know in the future how great your future actually is because you learn not to live in the past. Thank you so much for joining me again today on Monday Manor. I'll see you guys again next Monday. Have a great week.